In addition to receiving her historic 13th Grammy Award on Sunday night, Taylor Swift revealed a major detail that she had been withholding from her Swifty fans for the last two years. After disclosing some startling information, the 34-year-old hitmaker was awarded the highly sought-after Best Pop Vocal Album for Midnights. She defeated fierce opposition such as Ed Sheeran, Subtract, Miley Cyrus, Endless Summer Vacation, Kelly Clarkson, Chemistry, and Olivia Rodrigo, Guts. In her victory speech, she declared, All right, this is my 13th Grammy. Applause and cheers, that's my lucky number. I don't think I've ever mentioned that to you. I'd like to express my gratitude to the Recording Academy members for their decision, but I also know that their choices are a direct result of the ardor of their supporters. At that point, she revealed that she had been working on a covert 11th studio album. So I want to say thank you to the fans by giving you a secret that I have been keeping from you for the last two years, which is that my brand new album comes out April 19th, it's called The Tortured Poets Department, she blurted, sending her supporters into turmoil that I'm going backstage right now to upload the cover. I love you, thank you. Many thanks. Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas won Song of the Year, one of the major prizes of the evening, for their song What Was I Made For? It was featured on the soundtrack of the highest-grossing Barbie movie from 2023. The songs Dance the Night by Dua Lipa, also from Barbie the Album, Butterfly by John Batiste, A.N.W. by Lana Del Rey, Flowers by Miley Cyrus, Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo, Kill Bill by SZA, and Antihero by Taylor Swift were all defeated by Billy, 22, and her 26-year-old brother. The hitmaker acknowledged her fellow nominees before taking the podium to accept the award, opening her remarks with the words, No, what? God, I'm sorry. No, oops, that was a mistake. Guys, that was really foolish. I bent forward, staring at everyone's faces and thinking, not a chance. I just wanted to say, everyone in this category, wow, that was such an amazing list of amazing people amazing musicians, amazing music. Right now, I feel insane. Oh my god, guy. I'm completely taken aback. I express my gratitude to the Recording Academy members. I am grateful to my brother, who is my closest friend and the reason I am who I am today. She concluded by expressing how honored she was to have been a part of the movie that took in $1.4 billion at the box office. I'd like to thank Greta Gerwig for creating the best film of the year, Billy remarked. I appreciate Paul Walker coming to our meeting and suggesting that we include a song on the Barbie soundtrack. Do you want to be on it? How fortunate we are. We still count ourselves as extremely fortunate and affluent individuals. Though we don't feel worthy right now, it's difficult to feel worthy at all. We are extremely appreciative and humble. On Sunday, Miley Cyrus surprised everyone by defeating Taylor Swift to win the first Grammy Award of the evening. Alongside fellow music icon Mariah Carey, the 31-year-old singer won in the Best Pop Solo Performance category with her famous song Flowers. She defeated Taylor, who was also nominated for Antihero, along with Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire, Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For? From the motion picture Barbie, and Doja Cat, paint the town red. Not only was Miley shocked to learn she had won, but Mariah also declared, this MC is going to stand by this MC, because this is just too iconic, as she gave Miley the prize. Oh my god, I really thought I would miss this moment because I was caught in the rain and traffic. I might have missed the award, which is okay, but not to Mariah Carey, it was everything when I saw you in the Hollywood Bowl. I was going to share the tale you wanted to tell that summed up this moment, when Mariah arrived, so I sat in my fortunate number three seat. Miley continued with a charming tale of a young boy who caught a butterfly and how it related to her. So there was this little boy who was so excited about his parents giving him a butterfly net for his birthday, and all he wanted for his birthday was a butterfly, she said as she wrapped up her speech. He stepped outside into the sun and began to swing endlessly but he had no luck. Finally, he gave up and sank down on the ground, 
letting go and accepting that he would not be able to capture this lovely and the butterfly arrived and landed squarely on the tip of his nose at the same moment he did. And my butterfly is this song, Flowers. I'm grateful. Prior to the gala broadcast, SZA had received two nominations, making her the most nominated artist going into the event. However, she was the first to take the stage when she won Best R&B Song. The controversial singer Lizzo gave the award to the 34-year-old hitmaker, who was born Solana Imani Rowe. Although she arrived a little late to accept the prize, the singer acknowledged their long-standing connection. She expressed regret. I took a shot and ran here, and now I'm out of breath from changing. However, Izzo and I have been friends since 2013, when we were both part of a little tour and opened up in smaller spaces for roughly 100 people. And it's incredible to share the stage with her. I'm very appreciative. I express my gratitude to my parents, my mom and dad. God, my siblings at TDE, and everyone at TDE.to my niece, to my godparents. I apologize. I simply feel so overwhelmed. You truly have no idea how far I've come, and I still find it hard to believe this is happening. Hello, Taylor. Just saying thanks so much. Furthermore, I lack attractiveness. Enjoy your evening. In the Best Musica Urbana album category, Carol G won the second award of the evening for Manana Sara Benito. The 32-year-old Colombian hitmaker defeated Taney Data and Raw Alejandro Saturno. In her remarks of acceptance, she greeted everyone with, Hello. Carol G is my name. I'm from Colombia, too. It's also my first time attending the Grammy Awards and receiving a Grammy of my own. I'm ecstatic. I'm quite anxious, being in front of so many legends that I respect and appreciate makes me very happy. And this is really something lovely. I have the fondest recollections of my entire life from my record. The people that came and listened to my record and supported me are the ones who inspire and motivate me. I really appreciate it. I swear to always give it my all for you. Thus, much obliged, ES Latina. Dua Lipa performed her new track Training Season with much vigor to start the show. Before starting the hit song Houdini, she flaunted her statuesque physique in a black sheer and leather ensemble. The Crypto.com Arena in downtown Los Angeles will host a ceremony on February 4, 2024, to recognize the brightest artists in music. This year's festivities, which will be hosted by Trevor Noah, will broadcast live on CBS and its streaming service Paramount Plus at 8 p.m. Eastern Time 5 p.m. Pacific Time. With nine nominations overall this year, including Song of the Year, Record of the Year, and Album of the Year, SZA leads the field. With six nominations, Taylor Swift is not far behind and will face off against SZA in the three previously stated categories. Swift received more nominations for her critically lauded album Midnights than for any other single, including the finest reviews of her career for the track Antihero. That song is nominated for Song of the Year, which recognizes songwriters, as well as Record of the Year, which celebrates the artists that recorded the song as well as its producers and engineers. The song Kill Bill by SZA has also received nominations in both categories. Swift has already made history in the Album of the Year category, she is now in a tie with Stevie Wonder, Frank Sinatra, and Paul Simon for three previous victories. But if Midnight's wins this year, she's about to make history as the first person to win the category four times. Miley Cyrus and Billie Eilish are also nominated for six prizes. What Was I Made For, Eilish's smash song from the Barbie soundtrack, is nominated for Song and Record of the Year. With her nominations this year, Cyrus has a chance to win her first Grammy. Her album Endless Summer Vacation has been nominated for Album of the Year, and her track Flowers is up for Record and Song of the Year. Olivia Rodrigo is yet another well-known player vying for the prize. Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Song of the Year are among the six categories for which Olivia, who has already won three Grammys, 
is nominated. The jazz crossover performer John Batiste, the trio boy genius, Phoebe Bridges, Lucy Dacus, and Julian Baker, Lana Del Rey, Janelle Monet, and Victoria Monet, who received many award nominations for her album Jaguar 2 and its singles, are among the other notable nominees. A plethora of celebrities are scheduled to present at the event in addition to the well-known names honoring professional accomplishments. Presenters Maluma, Meryl Steep, Taylor Tomlinson, Oprah Winfrey, Lenny Kravitz, Lionel Richie, Mark Ronson, and Christina Aguilera have all been revealed. With performances by Billie Eilish, Billy Joel, Berna Boy, Dua Lipa, Luke Combs, Olivia Rodrigo, SZA, Travis Scott, and U2, fans and audience members alike will be in for a treat. This year, during the Grammy Awards, folk music legend Joni Mitchell will be making her Grammy Awards debut. She is also a nominee for the Joni Mitchell at Newport, Live, Best Folk Album Category Award.